Yo everyone and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free. Here today we're showing off this brand look at this man. Look at look at him. This is awesome. Brand new. Super Saiyan Spear Bomb Absorbed Goku. I hope you guys enjoy, of course. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content on the channel. If you do enjoy the video, uh, we do more Dokkan all the time. So just, you know, if you want to do that, it's a good idea. Alright, so the new Goku. Um, he should be coming out in about probably like 30 hours from now. I, I didn't actually check, but that's generally how this works. So stay tuned for that. Um, I definitely want to do some pulls for him, too. He's really good. Speaking of really good, let's talk about what he can do. So feel free to obviously pause it and uh, take a look at Goresh's translations. Huge shout out to my friend Goresh, the homie Goresh. Super Saiyan Category 4, key won 30% across the board. So keep in mind, everything you see in this video is under the 130% leader skill. There is that 170% Super Saiyan transforming Goku, Planet Namek Goku, who would obviously allow for far higher numbers, but the reason I'm running it this way is so I can have two of the Gokus, so I can show you more of the Goku in the video in general, if that makes sense to you. So his 12 key super greatly raises defense. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the 18 key super does not only the debuff of attack and defense, it also seals. So when we get to the passive, to summarize the passive, he gets 59% attack and defense at the start of the turn. Also, he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to being rainbow key sphere, so he's self-sufficient. He also gets two key additional per rainbow key sphere obtained, and for every orb obtained, he gets an additional 7% attack and defense. But also, he gets 7% more additional attack per key sphere obtained per Super Saiyan category ally attacking in the same turn. So... There was some confusion about that. Uh, some people were saying that it uh, it looks like that's based on like your your Super Saiyan allies that are attacking on the turn, getting orbs. I'm gonna assume this means just a cumulative 21% attack on a full Super Saiyan team per orb obtained. So 21% attack, 7% defense uh, obtained per orb. And also if you're getting rainbow orbs, he gets two additional key. And again, starting of the turn, 59%. Those are the links, those are the categories. Let's go ahead and shift over. So let's jump into the beginning part of this. So what I wanna do for this guy, I want to get, okay, so the desired rotations for me are going to be Goku, Gogeta, Goku, Gogeta. Um, because I have experienced fighters, I have pretty much everything that I want. But I did include Gohan because of the novelty. They fit really well together. Also, Super AGL, what the hell is happening with Super AGL all of a sudden, right? Like, over since the 300 million, they've been picking up. They already had, like, Kaelin Khalifa, Vegito got an easy A, this guy's coming out. Gohan just like, what all of us? Do you remember, like, a year ago, we were talking about how, like, Super, Super AGL is like kind of falling off. They haven't gotten units in a long time. Like what in the world? Anyways, they fit pretty well together because Gohan's transform condition needs a Super Saiyan Goku, which wouldn't you know it, that's a Super Saiyan Goku. Um, so that works out pretty well in that regard. And I, I included the Gohan because of that, the novelty of that and having that ability. So I know a lot of you guys probably want to see that or whatever the case is, so that's why he's here. But he actually isn't really part of my grand scheme. I, I guess it can work out with uh, him triggering legendary power for the... Uh, Int Gogeta rotation, but that's about it. Speaking of Int Gogeta, obviously STR go. Oh, he's going to start off with rounding up to 6 million damage in that windscreen, bro. Oh my god, I love this card. <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of Int Gogeta, who's she here now? Yeah, he is. Okay, so Int Gogeta is obviously not getting support from this guy. I didn't really care about that. The only unit I really care about supporting in this video for the most part is actually just going to be the HL Goku and stuff. And again, remember, everything is under 130 here. All these units going to tank a little worse, do a little less damage. I could have done the 170, and obviously the numbers would be far more inflated, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted two, if that makes sense. I'm sorry if you were wanting that. I'm sorry, but I wanted to do it this way. Um, so yeah, like... Um, Int Gogeta, obviously not the best unit, obviously not even the best Gogeta anymore, right? Um, there's that STR Gogeta EZA that's far better now. But what I will say is Int Gogeta actually works out for this team pretty well because you can actually attack down pretty much for the entirety of this event. And, uh, oh, okay, we're going to additional super. That's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Uh, you, can, you can attack down throughout the event anyway. So that'll help him tank pretty well. We also have a lot of attack down between the units on the team. So I'm hoping that helps him out a bit. And he also technically does have a supporting unit on the team as well. That's Movie Heroes Gohan support does support the Gogetas. So anyways, um, how are things looking here? So again, for the, so one thing I want to do for the Goku is I did bring the Chilai item. Um, and when I get a rotation with these two front units and that Gohan, the support Gohan, 
I'll actually use the Chi Lai item just like one time for the one time, to be honest, because I just want to see what, what that looks like. This should be pretty much max key. It is max key. Um, how are things looking defensively? 100,000 defense. Again, that'll probably be closer to like 150 or so on the 170 team. So, yeah, keep that in mind. But anyways, let's see where the attack is. 3.7. Probably closer to 4.2 on that other team. I'm not going to do that throughout the whole video. Just obviously, my, it's not it's not me doing quick maths. It's just me knowing, you know, how things should look. Um, but yeah, so all in all, though, I will say, though, that there is obviously value in having this guy potentially as a leader if you wanted to have that one extra key. I will say that this team doesn't necessarily need that because there's a ton of, like, self-sufficiency. And what is up with all the Rainbow Orb-specific self-sufficiency, right? There's a ton of that. Um, oh, my God, this is a lot of orbs. Hold on, that's a lot of orbs, bro. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of orbs. So we're going to go here. <laughs> he has support. He has uh, the links with Gogeta, like experienced fighter and stuff. Let's see how things look. 140,000 defense. Wow. Okay. So Gogeta, there you go. And last but not least, we're going to give you this. Yeah, I need to maybe start setting up. I don't think it matters here because I think this guy just one shots. Yeah, 5.8. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Goku is stupid. He's stupid good, man. He's stupid good. He, okay, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I want to start setting up some orbs in advance and stuff. That Goku's stupid good. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I'm never going to do the exchange, by the way. Uh, You know what? I'm going to do the Chi Lai this turn. There's enough AGL orbs to where I wouldn't feel bad about it. This Goku's going to get up. Freaking crap ton of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect to get a whole board. He's even gonna get the AGL boost from the Chi Lai item. Oh my god, he is going to be so freaking powerful. And again, he's getting support here from that exchange Goku back here. Oh my god, how much damage? How much? I'm calling 12 million. 16 oh my god oh <laughs> how much damage though how much how much damage 8 million damage no crit that would have been a 16 mil crit god damn <laughs> holy shit all right i like this guy i like this guy a lot man gohan i can transform now i should be able to oh i'm, I'm a couple like i'm like one turn off um, next time I will transform Gohan. I'm going to leave these two together again because I that was one thing that I expressly wanted to do for the video specifically. Like, I, I didn't really want to run them in terms of, like, having... Because what I like to do, it's very methodical for my showcases. I don't like to run too many supports, but I like to have at least two supports. Just because I think I think having two is supports is, is very realistic for a lot of teams. Um, and I don't want to go overboard with that. But, um... Also, and somebody also commented on this recently. I saw your comment. Thank you. I appreciate your uh, kind words uh, with some of the, the support you're offering. Um, but other than that, like, I, uh, I I like to have, like, a designated link buddy. And um, Gohan, again, he's good, but he didn't fit that mold because he didn't have experienced fighter. So, yeah. And Gogeta, uh, not enough, but a lot of attack down there. Oh, hey, this is the rotation I kind of was talking about earlier. Do I do it again? I, I do one more time. I know you probably don't want to see Chi-Lai, but you're going to see Chi-Lai at least one more time. Oh, it didn't pay off, though. <laughs> All right, touche. Well, we're going to get a decent attack at least. It didn't really pay off at all. It really didn't. So whatever. The Goku's obviously going to one-shot. It didn't really matter. I'm close to a Dokkan attack. Can I get a Dokkan attack next turn? I might be able to get a Dokkan attack next turn. with. Oh, uh, next turn can be a nasty rotation. Six million. Um, next turn will be a disgusting rotation if I get if I get good placement of orbs. I should be able to get a Dokkan. It, it can be a disgusting rotation. Okay. Gohan should be able to transform now. Or no. Oh, I'm stupid. Dog, I forgot. This stupid guy needs to be below the threshold. No, I forgot. Damn it. Okay. Rip the dream. I, sh I obviously can still kind of make it work, but that was part of what I wanted to do big time. So I guess I'm going to... I'm kind of in a weird spot. It's like, do I avoid the Dokkan attack? You know, I'm, I'm pretty much going to avoid it. I can't really get it anyway. I don't have the same color to do it. But, uh, okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I really wanted to. I was, I was thinking ahead. I was like, man, Gohan can transform. I can get multiple rainbow orb changes and stuff like that. If I don't get low enough, I can't really do anything about that. So if it just doesn't happen, it just doesn't happen. I'm trying, though. All right. That should do decent damage. Yeah, that's that's perfect, actually. The downside is the Dokkan attack is going to... It's going to push me back over the threshold. I freaking love this Goku, though. But he, he's your traditional, like, oh, I need I need orbs to do my thing type of guy. Oh, we're going to transform next round, by the way. Um, so you, you shouldn't be too, uh, what's the word, confused with how he works or anything like that. He's going to work the way you'd expect him to work. So, yeah, I, I realized as well, like, we took a little too much damage. <laughs> There was only a, a small wiggle room for this team anyway, the way it's constructed, because, like, I the only, like, margin of error I had was, like, between, like, what, 51 and 58%, like, HP threshold. Like, I just didn't have the wiggle room for it. But we can still get our Dokkan and do pretty good here. All right, so we're going to get the Dokkan attack. Got a good number of orbs. We can get max key, so let's see what we can do. And we're inching closer to the conclusion, by the way. So I do want to thank you guys for tuning in and stuff. All right, here we go. Whoa, that felt like it was slow and then picked up big time. He's at 3.7. Okay. These numbers are not as not the numbers I saw in my initial uh, testing of him. A lot of the numbers I saw was like 4 and 5 million. But it's because the orbs he needs, right? He needs the orbs to, like, to get those stats. Um, And, like, obviously the damage is stupid. Like, he's doing a lot of damage regardless. But he's not getting the orb placement. So let me try something a little different. I just haven't got good RNG with the orb changes. See, like that. Like, he changed one orb to a rainbow. What am I going to do with that one orb, right? That's the only downside of units like him that function that way. But I guess if I try to set this up a turn in advance, right? That's what I'm going to try to do here. I'm not going to give this one an ultra super to try to try to set this up in advance, right? If I do that, that might be the change I need because... I'm not getting the lucky placement with the orbs. And he's just not going to output the damage. He needs the orbs to do the damage, basically. I mean, his damage isn't bad. <laughs> Being over 3 million in that area, close to 4 million, is obviously not bad. But he can be a lot better than that. Right? He can be a lot better than that. In my testing, a lot of time he's around 4.6 or something like that. But again, remember also, while I'm saying this, uh, his numbers are heavily, like, kind of like, I don't want to say heavily, but they're kind of down. Because we could run that Mammoth Goku as a lead instead. So things just work out a little bit differently as a result of that. Well, good news is since I've already transformed once, if I happen to dip low enough again, um, I can get Gohan's transformation, so I'm good. <laughs> Unless I'm misremembering like one of his like 16 million different transformation requirements. I'm versus an android, so he's, he's able to transform. Can be activated when HP is 58% or less uh, with Android 16 air team, or when HP is 58% or less with an existing android category ally or enemy. Starting from the fifth turn. Yeah, yeah, I, that, that's what I thought. It's been a while since I used them, but that's what I thought. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Yeah, I have the orbs set up in advance now. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four, five. Okay, so if I go that way, that's going to be the best route. Um, I might be able to pop more, though, if I do this. It depends on if I get lucky or not. Let's see. And I don't get lucky. It's pretty much the same outcome, though. It's just one orb shy of what it was last time. But, okay. I didn't get lucky the way I was hoping. I was hoping that, like, you know, one or two more might pop in towards the top. Unfortunately, it did not wind up happening. Um, so, all I need is Gogeta not to beat this. And it, the odd, odds of him beating it are pretty slim, considering he doesn't even have the support here. It's just the other Gokus. So, please don't. Thank you. Okay. And, of course, the additionals. But it's not going to KO. All right. So, let's move on to the uh, next attacks here. And then, after that, I think next turn, um, we'll kind of wrap the video okay 4.3 i figured see that that was like eight orbs or so with eight orbs and a support he's at four million 4.3 so that's that's kind of more of what i was seeing from him even without support getting eight orbs or so he's still about four million like in that area um and then that's really good output very good output oh uh, we might be able to transform now we might get the transformation now I should do like 150, 130, okay. Yeah, we can transform now. That's a really good spot to end then. Only downside is I don't have a, a way to remove the lock, so this will definitely be our last turn. Can't even avoid a super with freaking Gogeta. 
That's annoying. The Gogeta's gonna freaking beat it, isn't he? <sighs> we really doing this? Are we really doing this? Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, game? Seriously, are you really doing this? Come on now. <sighs> this is annoying because I wanna... Uh, I guess I'm gonna go one more time through and I'm gonna float this Gohan and go one more time through. Because I don't want to end it with... I know what's going to happen here. This guy's going to freaking beat it. The Gogeta. Oh, hey, five rainbows. Not good for this guy. Oh, I get it again. It's not really particularly good to get five rainbows. Because um, it's just key. It's not power. But uh, it's it's nice to see, at least. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get that, that setup going next time with the Gohan right now. I'm going to float him here, get him back. Uh, and we'll go from there. Because I... Oh, he didn't beat it. That's pretty good. Thanks for not beating it. 3.7. But I want to see Gohan attack, too. I want to see the Gohan get the chance to attack. Yeah, we're going to float the Gohan, and uh, next turn, we'll try to get that lined up properly. Isn't this the final phase of this event? I think it is. Oh, my God. Now he's locking the Gogeta in the middle spot. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just... I'm not destined to get what I want. <laughs> I can only bring two items, and I wanted to bring the Chi Lai. Otherwise, I would have brought the Senzu Bean to, to remove the lock. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap because he's not letting me do what I want. <laughs> oh, man. But all in all, though, honestly, he's he's really good. I like him. I like him a lot. Um, he's pretty impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, nah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And if I lose, I lose. Whatever. I don't really care. Which way is the best? There we go. This is not going to be anything, like, outlandish output-wise. It's going to be stuff it's pretty similar to what we've already seen. Probably about 5 million. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe, of course, if you are new for more content. And I'll catch all of you in the next one.